Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In War of the Visions, I was invited to participate in the live stream to commemorate the first anniversary of the uh, Global Edition. I was very uh, humbled uh, to be asked. And then I'm recording this video a few days uh, before the live stream. I wanted to show you my team and then my thinking behind it. I have no idea how well it's going to perform in the actual live stream. Uh, either I shocked the world or I embarrassed myself. <laughs> but I wanted to show what it could be uh, capable of in this video, and then also my uh, thinking behind the build. Uh, but this is an evade party. Uh, we can look at all three of the characters, and they all have uh, two pieces of evade equipment. And Laswell and Kiton in particular, I feel like they're uh, still very underrated characters. Uh, I was very excited with Laswell when he was first announced in JP, and it was excruciating to wait until he came out in Global, and then pull for him, and then not get him, and then get him later, and then finally build him. And now I can uh, show him off here. I hope he did well in the live stream. He really is good. <laughs> Uh, but to look at him in more detail, uh, let's see. He is pretty kind of standard built as far as uh, skills on-off, uh, but I did turn off the uh, Azure Sky, the Limit Break, because it has a far range uh, for him, so it's going to be uh, it's going to have a high priority for him to use. But it uses too much AP, and I felt like it wasn't doing as much damage as his other attacks, so I turned it off. It's good when uh, you can hit maybe more than one guy at once, but uh, the mines map, uh, team members, they get kind of split up, so he was often using this on just one guy, so I turned that off. Okay, and then he's got the, uh, the Shiden plus zero, how do you like that? <laughs> and then uh, two pieces of evade, uh, the ribbon plus three. And then uh, Christmas Veneta's Trustmaster. This Trustmaster can be equipped by uh, males or females, so that's why we put it on uh, Laswell. I turned off the uh, the Trustmaster ability, I think. Okay, next was uh, Mediana, and here I actually put in a Christmas Venena. Uh, I was trying to work her as a uh, an evade build, not worrying about hate generation, uh, just trying to get some uh, punch damage in there, but she wasn't working out for some reason, so I put in Mediana. And you might know that uh, I'm a little biased against Mediana, but it's purely just because people were using her without thinking, taking her into the uh, wrong quests. This was maybe one of the first rants that I ever did about War of the Visions. Uh, but, you know, all characters are good. They all have their role. Uh, so I use Mediana for her role here. She can get pretty evade uh, as we shall see in this video. Uh, but she's also just kind of there to set up Laswell. I mean, if she can do damage and take down some guys, that's great. Uh, but with her limit break, she can uh, lower the uh, ice resistance of targets and then set him up for Laswell so that he could do the, uh, the real damage. And uh, Shiva, this is a max vision card, so that's very cool. And then uh, max, not quite max Shiva, uh, but the uh, resonance is max, so that's good. And then for her skills, I gave her Ninja uh, because I want her to use a Decider of Fate. She has to hit with her limit break, so I need her accuracy up. Uh, but I think pretty much everything else in here I turned off, except for Utsusemi. Utsusemi, I was actually wondering about giving that priority, turning off Decider of Fate, and then uh, having her use Utsusemi first turn. But generally, my team and then the enemies would be far away enough that if I use Utsusemi the first turn, it wouldn't have any use because it, she wouldn't be attacked until like the second or third turn, so that was okay to keep uh, Decider of Fate on. And then on uh, Black Mage here, I turned off Blizzaga uh, because a lot of times she would prioritize that over the Limit Break, and I want the Limit Break to come out, so that's why I turned that off. I left on Blizzard and Flare, although she never uses Flare for some reason. And then a Shadow Runner to add to her Evade. And then finally is a Kiton. You can probably uh, tell by looking at her what her build is, but she's here for three things. Uh, evade, Drain Force, and Stop. Uh, but Evade, we only have one thing. That's the, uh, the Ribbon, another Ribbon plus three here. And then I have a, a Platinum Robe plus zero for HP. And then Trustmaster Bells just for uh, AP so that she can do lots of Drain Forces and uh, Limit Breaks all in a row. 
Uh, she's got the Odin Esper for the Maneater. And then uh, Birth of a New Life card. Uh, to give my party luck, uh, that will also raise Evade along with the uh, Shiva Vision card. And then max HP up, and then also a nice uh, HP value on there to help with uh, Drain Force. And uh, Shukuchi and Shadow Runner. I wanted uh, Shukuchi for the more move and jump because Drain Force only works on the same elevation, and then Mines is kind of a bumpy map. But in testing it, there's enough squares kind of around that are the same uh, elevation and like on the same horizontal or same vertical that as long as her move and jump are good, as long as she has a lot of mobility, she can usually find a place to use uh, Drain Force. And then a Shadow Runner again for uh, Evade. And then uh, Limit Break, very important for her. Uh, two hits, uh, chance of stop. And for that, I uh, raised her faith. Okay, I think that's everything I wanted to say about the uh, rundown of my team. Let's go into some battles, have a look. Okay, I'm going against my guildmates. I asked them if I could uh, record fighting them, and nobody protested, so uh, here we go. <laughs> uh, but first, Augrius and Kine and Irudita. And then we're going to see a theme all these parties that I'm going against. Most of them don't have 100% hit attacks, <laughs> of course. So if I fought a team with 100% attack in the uh, live stream, then I probably didn't do very well. Uh, but yeah, Irudita, low accuracy, she can almost never hit me, so... Okay, we're on a diagonal, which means we'll use the uh, Saiga Shadow Bind for stop. And then basically that's that one character out for like maybe the next uh, two, three turns. And so Kiton can either uh, continue to attack them or come over and then help with these two guys here. And then uh, Laswell, he survives very well. He's got the, uh, the Mirage. Okay, good. There is the uh, limit break from uh, Mediana that will lower the ice resistance on uh, two of the uh, the enemy characters. Okay, Fatal Bloom, that's excellent damage from Laswell. <laughs> Let's see what Kiton does. Okay, she comes over and helps with uh, Kine, takes him down to 1 HP. There goes my Mediana, but that's fine, she did her job. And we'll get rid of Irudita. Okay, another Mirage. I still can't believe that Laswell has that skill twice. It's too powerful. <laughs> okay, there goes Kiton. She goes down, but she's also kind of done her job too. And he and there. Alright. Uh, but yeah, if those last two attacks, if either Mediana or Kiton evaded those, that would have been an even uh, kind of more decided outcome there. Okay, here, let's go against the uh, Dark Bros. And uh, yeah, my team, it's pretty good against Dark Bros. <laughs> uh, because many of them, they don't have 100% hit attacks. Uh, I think uh, Super Stern, equipped with uh, Exorcists, would be the uh, biggest threat. But uh, even like Laswell, he can take that, uh, you know, take one, like, negate damage from Mirage, take two hits, he'll still be up. His evade will be gone, but he'll still be up to be able to do damage there. Okay, here's another Shadow Bind. We will stop Kine. Okay, another Limit Break from Mediana. Won't quite take down Super Stern, but uh, his uh, Ice Resistance is imperiled. Okay, Mighty Break, Evade. Okay, Kison is going to focus on Kine. Another Shadow Bind that will extend the uh, stop, I think. All right, there goes Mediana, but her job is done. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to say on uh, Kiton, I turned off all of her skills except for Drain Force and then Shadow Bind and her Limit Break. Okay, there's that Mirage. Okay, goodbye Super Stern. Kien, and there goes Dwayne. All right.
So yeah, my team is pretty good against uh, Dark Bros, actually. And we'll go against a, a remix of that there with uh, Irudita instead. Uh, but I went against uh, other teams in my guild, and they had like a mix of stuff. They had like archers. They had like uh, Sakura and stuff, and I didn't do as well against those parties. So it's really going to be a uh, matchup game. If I get the right matchup, then I have a better chance of uh, winning. Uh, but I'm just going to show all wins here, because I want to show what this team is capable of. Okay, so here, maybe uh, Dwayne, with his uh, innate hate, is drawing my uh, Kiton over. So uh, Kiton is not going straight forward uh, this match. It's pretty hilarious when uh, Kiton can get over and then uh, do the stop uh, before Kain can do the uh, Immortal Spirit. And then uh, Kiton takes him down before uh, he can get that uh, 1 HP save. <laughs> Federica I do okay against. Federica and uh, Nivlu. Uh, because uh, Kiton is the earth element, so she'll take less damage. Even though Federica might have the 100% uh, hit, uh, Kiton can survive that. And then get the uh, element advantage on her Drain Force. So that's a good matchup. Uh, Nivlu's even better, maybe, because she doesn't have a 100% hit attack. But yeah, as we can see, the more my team can evade, uh, the better chance they have of winning. Okay, there goes that team. Okay, next, Dark Bros again, plus Zombie idea. Okay, Kiton will kind of go in between the uh, second and third character there. Okay, physical barrier. I really like the, uh, the voice actor on the uh, Japanese Dwayne there, that's pretty good. <laughs> we had to wait a while to hear it since he came out in Global first. Okay, stop on Kind. There goes Mediana, so she did not do her job there. Okay, darkness never seems to hit. I don't know if that has like a lower accuracy rate. I don't even know how that's possible, but never seems to hit. <laughs> okay, but Kain is stopped, so we can kind of ignore him for a bit, and then like the other guys are coming towards my Kiton. Uh, so Kiton can engage them instead. Okay, but a couple drain forces back to full life. Take down a couple guys. Now it's just us and Kain. Ah, there goes Kiton. Oh well. <laughs> That's even with the uh, evade buff up there. Oh well. Okay, again, nice damage from Fatal Bloom. I think I did put the uh, support ability on him that will raise the damage of that. I really think his limit break is not so great. <laughs> okay, last battle. Let's go against Dwayne and Double Calculators. And again, Calculators, they don't have 100% hit attack, so I feel okay about going against them. Okay, but uh, little Leela, she has the uh, re-raise. 
And then another point about this team is that I have Ice and Earth. And so like wind characters like Leela that would do extra damage on uh, Kiton, uh, they would be countered by my Ice units. So uh, like uh, Laswell and Mediano, they'll take less damage from uh, Leela while doing more damage to her. All right, Mediana doing the Ice in Peril and dodging. Okay, thankfully no heal there from uh, Irudida. And there she goes. Oh, holy, that's off element. But Mediana, being a uh, magic user, has uh, better magic resistance. Yeah, but unfortunately the uh, the charging spells... She rarely gets those out because she's usually taken down the next hit. Okay, getting some nice evades here. Nice drain forces as well. Alright. Okay, so I think that'll do it for that video. Um, so that was my thought process putting this team together and then a kind of a showcase of what it can do. Uh, but again, it's a game of matchups and uh, we'll see if I got the matchups that I wanted in the live stream or not. Alright, thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Take care.